Okay. A uh, question from uh, a man with only one out, one hat, it seems. <laughs> yes. In the previous, had several hats. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's René Pickard from the University of Koblenz. Um, and I want to contribute something to the discussion on copyright versus the free internet. Because uh, I'm a computer scientist and I fully support the free internet. But I also do online marketing for music band and uh, I also want to have the rights of the musicians protected. So I'm kind of both sides. And in our experience, the situation is that we wanted to put our music on the internet, but record labels prohibited us to do this. We were not allowed to do this, to make useful decisions and to do uh, sensible stuff, because there's the monopoly of the copyright holders or the people who buy the licenses. So I want to ask you, Jill, how, do you, how would you answer these kinds of questions of people having smart business models, know what the internet does good to them, and why does iTunes have to earn 50% of our royalties in a direct marketing on the web where you have no distribution costs? I mean, it's probably up to you to answer, but it's, um, it's an issue. I mean, <laughs> uh, we need, on the copyright side, uh, we probably need to, to improve what's going on in the union. You know, we have a lot of bodies who are mostly acting like monopolies in their territories, and it's not, it's not, there is no competition. You know, for instance, France, we have SASM, which is the second largest in the world, and it's considered as exclusive, you know. So there have been some ruling recently that made that you can go along without SASM. You know, and it's actually, it's been up to the, the European um, uh, chamber. You know, so it's, it's, it's evolving very slowly. It's very difficult. It's probably really painful as well because a lot of the artists are dead, actually, and still benefiting from uh, the revenue. You know, so these people are very conservative. Uh, but I can believe that given the path of innovation from the internet, it has to change. It cannot stay at such, and it will change probably over time within the, the next coming years. It's my belief. Nili, do you want to add something? You are touching upon the most sensitive part of uh, the whole uh, dossier of copyright, and that is the power of the collecting societies. Um, um, they are pretending that they are protecting the artists. I can assure you, not. And we... <laughs> Having said that, the power is also in the political arena, so of them. And for me, it is absolutely crucial talking about artists for, again, a decent remuneration for every creation should be taken into account, for otherwise we are just stopping the stream of creativeness. But then we should take into account that the system, the management system, has to be changed and that in a single digital market, I can't explain to citizens that a border, what in the meantime is an artificial border of a member state, is a ring fence. So that can't be done. Um, we did make the, um, the, the list to, to do in the Commission that the review of the directive of this collective societies, for example, should be reviewed it's from 2001, so time is there, so to say, and we still have not the proposal. So, um, and that is a bit uh, naughty of me, for it's not my portfolio, so I, for, and so on and so forth, but um, in the meantime, time is just going by and uh, passing by. And we need legislation. We need new regulation in this field and taking into account that certain thoughts, mindsets are not anymore work great for yesterday but are not working for today and tomorrow. So um, I take your point again and said that even in France I got that, um, that uh, claim. Thank you. Thank you. Tim? So I'd say to you, imagine the world how you would really like it to be. Which, imagine a world in which these fans can, uh, what, what would you like it, what, what should it be like to the user when somebody who's listening to music, how would they find the, the, that, your music? How 
would, what would it look like as a user interface that they would start to listen to it? At which point would you like them to be prompted for payment or have the option of donating? Which combinations of those would you like? How would the whole system work? How would it, how would it fit in with the rest of the web? What would, what would the, then how would you want them to, the, the payment to go? What sort of third parties would be necessary or would not be necessary? Would you want to have micropayment and aggregation or would you want to have payment at a fairly high level? Uh, or would you want to have people, uh, or would you want uh, your user's computer at the end of the month to sort of to, 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 to take them through a, a payment cycle? So think how you would like the world to work, how it would be best. Imagine it, okay, and then go geek and make it, okay, build it, just code it up, put it out there, put the ser music server software out there as free software, get it rolled out with every ver version of Apache, get the client stuff put into every, uh, every browser. You know, the people you need to talk to are here, go do it. <laughs> Go do it, that's for you. <laughs>